It is so expensive to own a home these days. Taxes keep increasing, homeowners insurance keeps increasing, and miscellaneous repairs pop up when you least expect them. Even if you don't have a mortgage payment, homeownership can be very expensive. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Jackson with John L. Scott Real Estate. I'm your trusted real estate agent here in the greater Seattle area. Please reach out to me anytime with any questions. I'd be happy to help. Are you facing the challenging task of needing to sell your home because you can no longer afford to live in it? Are you unsure of where to begin and feeling overwhelmed by the process? I want to share with you a story about one of my recent clients who had all of these same situations. I recently had the privilege of helping a senior age lady. She was a retired widow and her husband took care of the majority of the house items. Since he passed away, many of these repairs built up and kind of got pushed to the side. She had a very challenging situation. She could no longer afford to live in her house and she needed to downsize. She owned her house free and clear, but didn't have any money in the bank for moving or repairs. And some of this needed to happen in order for her to sell. Her house needed extensive repairs. There was water damage and major mold and many maintenance items were not taken care of. She had major medical conditions and she needed out as soon as possible. And she had a ton of stuff. She didn't have anyone to help her. The funds from the house was her only retirement money. So she and I sat down together and we carefully explored her options for selling based upon her needs and her goals. Together, we weighed the pros and cons of repairing versus selling as is. Our focus was on minimizing her stress and ensuring a quick sale so she can move on. I found a contractor to do the repairs and to pay at closing. But after some quotes and timelines, we determined that this was really not the best fit for her situation. The small amount of money that she was going to gain by doing all of the repairs would equal a lot of stress and a lot of time. And we didn't really know for sure what the market would be like when she was ready to sell. So this was not a good fit for her, but it could be a good fit for a different situation. The result was incredible. It is amazing how many people pulled together to try to help this lady who they didn't know who really needed some help. I found an investor willing to purchase the property as is off the market and all the items could stay. They even helped her pack her dishes and the items that she wanted to take with her. We negotiated a free rent back option so she would have funds to move and we sold it to them off market. She had one month to move out. It was a great win for everybody.